My name is Mildred Foster and I am the Warm Club coordinator. And what we do at Women Connect Fest is to offer um, loads of support to women of black and minority ethnic communities. Now with the cost of living crisis, this uh, community has been really badly affected. I know that everybody's affected, but our community, the majority of women are in, at very long in incomes and they struggle to uh, make ends meet. And then we offer uh, energy advice. So we have organized seminars and then we do a lot of one-to-one. -one. They come, they tell us what's the problem and we call their service providers on their behalf because a lot of them have got the language barrier. So it's very difficult for them to really tell them, explain the problem. And in, in many cases, they are charged wrongly or they are they fall into, into debt because they cannot really um, pay the bills now with the increase in prices. So now that we are part of this project with the Warm Hub, it's, uh, we have started uh, cooking for them and offering a, a hot meal uh, twice a week. So they come and they really welcome the opportunity to meet other women. So the way we support them here at in Women Connect First is that we offer them English classes so they can improve their communication skills. They also have access to IT classes so they learn to use a computer and then they become more familiar. They can now access some uh, activity classes online, which is something that they are, uh, it's a wonder for them that now they can do that. And then when they are, uh, their English is very limited and we have an important seminar, there is always an, somebody speaking Arabic or Urdu, whatever language they need, interpreting for them so they really become aware of the things that we have. The Warm Hub is helping us to do that because one of the things that we have heard when they come is that it's not only the meal that you provide, but it's a warm space for them. And they, this, they last week this old lady was telling me, my house is so cold. So I love coming here because then I meet uh, all these women. We have become friends over the years and I feel supported. So they integrate to the community better. And then they feel part of something important because they have been coming here for years, some of them. So it's a, a Women Connect has, has a long tradition of supporting these communities. They have been working in these areas uh, around in Cardiff and around Cardiff for 20 years. We have got uh, women from 36 different ethnicities. So it's a very rich environment. And then some of the ladies really feel that from the time when they started coming to now, they have really increased their confidence. They have integrated more to the society and with all these skills, they are improving the quality of life. My name's Samira and I was born and brought up in Cardiff. I found out about Women Connect First during COVID. I had been on my own, getting quite depressed. And then a friend of mine said, well, why don't I join the Zumba classes and yoga classes from Women Connect First? And I'd never heard of them before. So I joined one day and um, I'm still here. Women Connect First is like a small family. Everyone knows each other. We get together for trips, picnics, classes. And downstairs we've got a lovely room that we meet up on a Wednesday and a Friday for a meal and maybe a game of bingo. There are different people from different walks of life, some that like myself can speak English fluently and some ladies that don't have English as their first language. You've got people from India, the Gujarat, Sri Lanka, all over the world and we all come together we all have made friends. We also have people that come in and talk about various other topics that um, help us all. For example, environmental health. We have people from the National Grid that come and see us and talk ab about different things. Uh, hello, uh, my name is Huda Ali and uh, I'm married. I have two daughters. I have been in this uh, Women Connect for 17 years now. When I came in this country, I started with the Women Connect to learn English. 
and many skills like in computer and even sewing sometimes. Always I come here. I feel like my home. Everybody welcoming with me and uh, thank you for everything. Thank you for help us and really, really this organization to help a lot Muslim and another community in, in, in their life and their everything and you can you can see and you come you are welcoming anybody in this woman connect organization i came to hurt like a volunteer now i cook in the kitchen i prefer to come here to get it like experience because i take it uh, many courses about the uh, cooking level one level two i'm so happy to help the woman connect i'm so happy to uh, see the, uh, my friend here today i cook curry chicken beans with the rice like a vegetarian food Every week we make the difference to recipe. You are welcome to come to this area and we'll connect and uh, sharing with us your, uh, your experience, your, your life and uh, welcome for everybody here. My name's Gavin Hawkey. I'm the Foundation Director at Cardiff City FC Community Foundation. Yeah, well, we know that football clubs are at the very heart of their communities, and Cardiff City FC Community Foundation is the official charity of Cardiff City Football Club. And we work closely with our communities across three broad areas, health and wellbeing, education, employment, and building stronger communities. Uh, and we know that football clubs can play, play a really important role in their communities. They're, a, they're the heartbeat of so many communities. And we work together to try and use the assets of the football club, the brand and the connection that people have through a sense of belonging to change lives and transform communities. So we know that the, the winter months can be particularly difficult for some people. Uh, fuel poverty affects uh, large ways of our communities, particularly lower income families. We also know that people can suffer from social isolation during those periods. So we've teamed up with the National Grid uh, through the Community Matters funding to be able to create warm hubs, warm spaces here at Cardiff City Stadium where people can come in, see a friendly face, uh, meet someone, uh, have a chat, have a cup of tea, some refreshments, get warm um, and find out things like energy saving tips and we're also distributing some warm packs which include things like hot water bottles, blankets etc to help people stay warm during the winter months. So football stadia have lots of different spaces that can be used during the week. This space itself is used by our Disabled Supporters Association, it's used by our 1927 Dementia Friendly Group, and it's also the location for our warm hub. So people can come in, get a cup of tea, some refreshments, play some games, meet people, uh, see a friendly face in one of our volunteers, and pick up one of our warm packs. And our warm packs include lots of items to help people get through the winter months. So we put out a, a call to action across our, our networks, including students involved in our further and higher education programs, uh, participants involved in our Armed Forces Veterans Project. They came together and helped prepare some of the warm packs. And we've also got volunteers supporting uh, the warm hub, um, creating a welcome environment so that people can come in and see a friendly face. I think stadiums, football stadiums are landmark buildings um, and people have a deep connection with the football club. It's often a place of uh, you can go to meet old friends and connect with people. Um, and obviously during the week, we've got opportunities to maximise the space around the stadium. So we thought it was something that we could turn to good use and respond to local need. And it also opens up opportunities for people to get a little look behind the scenes at what goes on around a football club during the week. <laughs>